Hello viewers, welcome back to my channel Alpa's Active Learning. In today's session, we are going to learn about parallel lines and transversal. Let us see three lines M, N and L. If you look at them, all these three lines are meeting at a common point A we will term this line as intersecting lines or the lines which are meeting at one point. Now look at the another case. Again we have line M, line N. These two lines are not intersecting and they are at equal distance or the same distance. Such lines are known as parallel lines. The lines in the same plane which do not intersect each other are called parallel lines. Symbolically, we write line. Now, where we use this? We can see in our daily life many such figures, many such objects where we can see the concept of parallel lines. Look at this concept. Yes, while racing. In the elevator, in the piano keys, also in the construction of a wall, that's arrangement of you can say bricks, and of course in the construction of bridge, as well as in the construction of the grill. So this particular distance also is very very important because it bears same load or for the same designing or for the aesthetic look also. So now let us go deep about parallel lines and transversal. So what is a transversal? Let us consider two lines. We will name it M and N and the third line P. Now children observe. Line M intersect line P. Line N also intersect line P. But P is a line that intersect M at different point A and N at B. Such line P is known as transversal. So what is a transversal? A line that intersect to another line in the two distinct point is known as transversal. All these three lines are coplanar line. Now we are going to study about the angles made by this transversal. Now let us look at these angles made by transversal. We will count how many angles are there. So observe 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7 and 8. So, all together there are 8 angles. Now the question is, are these angles are same? Do they have any relationship? And what properties they have? Yes children, these angles all together are 8. But among these 8 angles, they have some specific properties. Let's see. The first design or observe these angles. Can you recollect any shape these two angles? Again, yes. If I see the blue color pair of this, I can see English letter Z. Same way, in green color, these two pairs of angles are there. It's a this inverse. It's a reverse of Z. So, such type of angles are known as alternate angles and you can identify by identifying the letter Z. So, what are alternate angles actually? They are the pair of angles which are on the opposite sides of transversal and their arms are on the transversal. They show shows opposite directions. Children, these two pairs of angles and these alternate angles are 
congruent to each other that means measures of the pair is same going to the next one again you have to observe the given over here okay it's very easy you can see shape c or you can say letter c and this letter c has two angles same way on the other side again letter c and it has also two pairs of angle now this angles are known as interior angles and we can identify by identifying letter c on either side so here what are interior angles a pair of angles which are on the same side of the transverse cell now what is the most important property that this interior pair angles are supplementary that is sum of their angles are 180 degree in all there are two pairs of interior angles to move on to the next one again observe carefully you can see here two pairs of angle again observe them so i have given 2 and 6 and 1 and 5 this type of angles are known as corresponding angles here if the arms on the transversal of a pair of angles are in the same directions observe 2 and 6 and 1 and 5 and the other arms on the same of the transversals then they are called as corresponding angles there are four pairs of corresponding angles and again the third pair i have shown and the fourth one right so we can say 1 and 5 2 and 6 4 and 8 and uh, sorry 3 and 8 and 4 and 7 again all these pairs of angles are congruent that is revise just 1 and 5 one pair 2 and 6 3 and 8 4 and 7 okay so if a transversal intersect two coplanar lines and a pair of corresponding angle is congruent that means the lines are parallel if alternate angle is congruent then also the lines are parallel and if interior angle is supplementary then the lines are parallel this is a converse of this but this concept is very very important it is used to solve the sums thank you so much do like and subscribe my channel stay tuned to my channel for new videos